hi guys it's amber with style stockpile i know it's been a long time since i have posted a video um i've been super super busy because i always tell you guys i'm a broke college student well i have to do college student stuff i know it's the summertime but i'm super studious so i've been taking summer classes and it has been hectic so now that we've gotten that all out of the way today's subject is how not to dye your hair red i told the lady at sally's i do not want crayola red hair don't want it that's not what i want and i said i also don't want that reddish purple eggplant hair either it's not what i'm going for i'm going for a really bright yet natural red that's what i told her i had decided i had already had blonde brown and black it was time to try red um and of course i like the do-it-yourself stuff so it started out as a tutorial on how to dye your hair red which entailed lightening your hair first and getting some red dye once you have a little peek it is quite freaking bright under there a little nervous but it's okay, it's not gonna stay that way. Okay, so. Wow. I look like Cisco on crack. Okay, so I'm already nervous. I've put everything that was in the color tube in there, and it's actually like a maroon color. I'm praying to the Lord Jesus that my hair don't turn out that color. Um, now I'm gonna add my color brilliance additive. Very upset about this. So as you can see, after color number one, um, I had Crayola crayon hair. It's the exact color I said I didn't want. Okay, so we're on color number two. Let's see how this goes. I got a dark warm red. Hopefully, does something for me, man. Hopefully. Everyone's telling me how cute it is. I keep telling them, why are you lying to me? Eventually, after this washes out, it fades a little bit. Um, I plan on putting a dark brown over it, which ironically is going to probably end up with me at the exact same color that I had originally. So, I've come full circle guys um, because this was in fact a hair color fail as you can tell after the second coloring it was that eggplant purple the second color I said I did not want so I just let it ride out and surprisingly enough after a lot of washes um, the red completely came out um, and it turned back into the blonde that um, I had underneath when I lightened my hair in the I guess the moral of this tutorial is basically go to a professional if red is the color you're trying to get. I've dyed my hair black successfully and blonde successfully, but red is just the science that I'm sorry, I just don't get. And I'm not going to try it again. Um, I have learned my lesson as far as do-it-yourself is concerned for dyeing your hair. You know, if you really, really, really want to dye your hair red, it's better to just invest your money rather than ruining your head of hair and, you know, not being able to leave the house because your head looks like a flame. Alright, I think that's it for the rest of this. Um, please comment below. Um, I love to get comments from you guys. But I think that's about it.